Hi, I'm Eric Curlin from 3D Space. In January of 2008, the U2 3D movie was released, and it broke new ground in the presentation of concerts in 3D. In subsequent years, there have been 3D concert films from Hannah Montana, Justin Bieber, the Jonas Brothers, One Direction, and even Metallica. But way back in 1982, on October 30th, Halloween Eve, on college campuses around the country, students watched a live broadcast of a concert featuring the band Devo. And sections of the broadcast were in 3D. Now, unfortunately, there were some technical problems with the actual soundtrack. And the broadcast was only done that one time. A shorter version was shown later, but the concert's never really been shown again, and it hasn't been released on video. Here's a clip. Now, in addition to concerts presented in 3D, a number of bands have integrated 3D into the shows themselves. In 1998, the band KISS, on their Psycho Circus tour, included three giant rear projection screens. They gave Polaroid glasses to the audience, and audiences watched visualizations and music videos on the screens during the show. Other bands have done similar things, including Kraftwerk, Primus, and OK Go, who in 2010 toured with a music video that I shot called White Knuckles. The music video features a group of dancing dogs and it was all done in one take. Interestingly, the video was shot using consumer cameras. This is a pair of Canon point-and-shoots with a controller built into an Altoids tin. It's a really fun video. You could click the link below to watch it in its entirety. And another interesting note about the White Knuckles video. That video ended up being the first video released on the Nintendo 3DS. Millions of people bought their 3DS and got to watch this at home. If you'd like to learn more about 3D and music, and 3D and music videos, please go to our website at www.3dspace.org and please make a donation to our campaign so that we can preserve all of this video and have a museum where people can come and see it. Thank you.